Hello everyone, I'm Rino Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure DHCP Relay Agent. Uh, in my previous video, I've shown you how to install and configure DHCP server. And I'm going to use the same DHCP server to assign the IP addresses to a different subnet. Okay, so as you see over here, I'm on the same DHCP server. But what I've done is I've created a new scope with the IP address of 192.168.2.network okay and up on my hypervisor I've got two switches switch NAT1 and NAT2 in my hypervisor I've got a few virtual machines which include some domain controllers some uh, normal PCs as well I've named them as NAT1 DC, NAT1 PC, and NAT1 EXCH. All of these systems that are named as NAT1 are connected to NAT1 switch. And all of these devices on uh, named as NAT2 are connected to NAT2 switch. Okay, I've got a routing and remote access server which has two network cards. As you see, one, one network card is connected to network 1 and the other is connected to network 2. Using routing uh, remote access, I've uh, put some static routes in place, which helps me communicate between both the networks. Okay, but unfortunately, on network 2, I don't have a DHCP server. And I would like to use the DHCP server on network one to assign the IP addresses to network 2 okay to do that you need to install the HCP relay agent on your routing and remote access server okay um, and as you see I've created the scope for that second network already okay so let's go ahead and configure our routing and remote access server so I'll just log in into my routing and remote access server to access your routing and remote access console you need to go to your server manager click on tools and click on remote access management in your remote access management console if you just click on direct access and VPN and then click on open RS management routing and remote access management on your right hand side okay so if you just click that and in your routing and remote access management console if you just You've got IP version 4 and IP version 6, okay? So if you just right click on under IP version 4, if you just right click on general and click on new routing protocol. If you select the HCP relay agent and then click OK, you will then see the HCP relay agent in the list over here, okay? If you just right click the HCP relay agent and then go to properties. In the properties, you need to mention the IP address of your DHCP server. For me, it's 192.168.1.2. That's the IP address of my DHCP server. So now, the DHCP relay agent will put forward the request to the DHCP server. But on, to the, on the DHCP relay agent, you need to mention the interface. So if you just right click, if you select the HCP relay agent, and then in this space over here, if you just right click and click new interface, you then have to select the interface uh, to which the second network is connected to. For me, it's NAT2. So anybody on any computer on NAT2, when it looks for a DHCP server, and it can't find a DHCP server on its local network, it will then contact the DHCP relay agent. And the relay agent is then going to forward the request to the DHCP server. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and close this. So let's go to the client computer on network 2. Over here, if I just do IP config space release and then renew. you will see that the server has assigned the IP address 192.168.2.51. You can also see that uh, it has assigned the default gateway IP address. Okay, so let's go to our DHCP server and let's go to the DHCP console. Over here, if you just refresh, as you see over here, under the scope of 192.168.2.network, it says that it has under address leases it will show you the IP addresses that it has leased okay lease expiration date and time as well under network one if you check it has also sent it also has leased an IP address so you can keep in track of all the IP addresses that the server has leased I hope this video has been useful Please hit the like button if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.